Good afternoon, everybody. It's me, Pastor Marty, here with our Fun Friday features uh, today. I like to start out with a little bit of a little bit of humor. Uh, yes, uh, get our weekend started. Uh, there were uh, three uh, three people: a doctor, an engineer, and a, a politician. Uh, they were arguing over whose contribution to humankind was the greatest. The doctor said, The Lord created Eve from Adam. It was a surgical procedure, therefore we doctors were there from the creation. No way, the engineer interrupted. <laughs> Go back a step. The Lord created the universe from chaos. That was the greatest engineering feat in history. My profession was the one that was there at the beginning. Fair enough, said the politician as he piped in, but do you think who do you think created all that chaos in the first place? <laughs> oh yeah, we always want to always wanting to uh, uh, be on top, be the first. Uh, yes, indeed, indeed. Speaking of chaos, uh, you know, the, God created uh, everything from nothing, it says. In one translation, it says chaos, because uh, the, it was, everything was void and uh, all else. But, that, but, but the, it, chaos, it, it just, uh, well, it came and went, and then it came again. What do I mean by that? Yes, God created uh the perfect world uh, out of chaos and, and then we messed it up Adam and Eve that is uh, they didn't listen to what uh, God had told them about eating from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil and from that point forward chaos has been in our world chaos uh, that uh, uh, strikes us in a variety of, of different ways and, uh, in our lives. In our spiritual lives as well, Satan is always trying to create chaos in our thinking, in our uh, way that we connect with our Lord and God and trying to manipulate us and confuse us and, well keep things chaotic because that's his world that's his realm uh, when when we are uh, hearing or, or experiencing the chaotic events of the times uh, uh, throughout history uh, it's been Satan's doing he wants to keep things chaotic instead of us following the Lord and hearing from Him uh, how He is in control and how things aren't chaotic and how He can turn chaos into uh, good for us. So it still exists. We still struggle with it. We still uh, battle with it. But the truth is uh, the world is in God's hands. And as we trust in him, uh, that chaos will fade. Uh, but it comes back and revisits us until he comes again in the clouds. Uh, uh, as he left in the clouds, as we learned yesterday uh, about the ascension, so he will return on the clouds. Uh, another little um, bit of humor for you as uh, we depart from uh, our week and into the weekend uh, all I need to know I learned from Noah's Ark so a little bit of the story we're getting into here uh, in the first sections uh, of the story we deal with uh, creation and then also uh, the fall and the, uh, the, the Ark and Noah uh, so what can we learn from Noah's Ark uh, one don't miss the boat uh, two, remember that we're all in the same boat. Three, 
plan ahead. It wasn't raining when Noah built the ark, you know. Four, stay fit. No matter your age, someone may ask you to do something really big. How about five? Build your future on high ground. Amen to that. Six, for safety's sake, travel in pairs. Seven, remember the ark was built by amateurs, the Titanic by professionals. And right off of that, number eight, don't listen to the critics. Just get on with the job that needs to be done. Nine, when you're stressed, float a little while. Take it easy. Relax. Number ten, no matter the storm, when you are with God, there's always a rainbow waiting. Indeed, there's a storm going on. The coronavirus pandemic is the storm of the day, is the chaos of the day. But no matter what the storm, no matter uh, how long it takes, uh, God will work through it. God has already uh, shown us different things, that uh, uh, good things that are coming out of this uh, situation, this chaos, ways to reach out to people uh, in a, in, uh, as a church, uh, to connect with them um, and, and still continue our gathering in spirit. Um, so, you know, lest we forget, God is steering or piloting the boat. God is with us in the storm, in the boat. Uh, he will guide us. He will help us through. Uh, we nearly need to trust him, continue to um, have a little humor in our lives, remembering that uh, God loves us, God cares for us, and God will be with us to the end until he comes to take us home with him. Paradise and the lack of chaos and storms. I'll leave you with one last a little piece of humor. Did you know it's a sin for a woman to make coffee? Yep, it's in the Bible. It says, he brews. <laughs> and with that, I'll see you next Monday. And God bless.